book covers. We all judge it. We collect the same book because we like its new cover. Just because. We feast our eyes in their beautiful imagery, their feel in our touch, their smell. They are good for the readers. Writers and authors, on the other hand, as in the authors who have no clue on how to compile a book by our own, hard times are in our way. A difficult task to complete all the literary aspects of such incredible feat. We finished the whole book, edited it poured our heart and soul and blood just to make it perfect. But then we are stopped by one thing. A thing that people would see first and judge it by only a millisecond. A thing, in all shapes and form, has no literary elements to it. Only pure advertising art. The Book Cover an advertising tool that should pull a reader's attention and make them tell themselves, I think I'll give this book a shot. I'm one of those average indie authors who couldn't justify, at least for now, to pay a professional at least two grand on a cover that may or may stop my desired reader to buy a, my book, at least for now. In this video, I will show you some of my solutions in making my own covers, the techniques, the elements, and finally, my tips. But first, just a disclaimer, I dabbled in digital art almost the same time I dabbled in indie writing. I have observed the book cover trends in bookstores and the genre I'm writing for years. I've made my own covers that sometimes worked but at the most, didn't. I'm not an expert, I'm just an average indie author that can't shell out two grand to a respected book cover creator. Oh, I forgot to tell you, my genre is sci-fi, fantasy, and horror. I'm going to present a case study, and that would be a book I've finished recently. Step one, words should always shine first. In starting a book cover, I never think of the image, I never think of the art. I think about the title and how it would go in the advertising art. I draw multiple rectangles and figure out the positioning of the title, the seer's name if it has one, and the author's name in these rectangles. Once I'm done, I search for a proper font for it. A font can communicate a specific feeling to the eye of the beholder, so I'm careful in choosing one. This book of mine is fantasy soft horror, and I'm planning the book cover to be somehow inspired by Stephen King's books. So I chose. It's a font that steers closer to the feel I'm going after. First tip. There are a lot of commercial free fonts in the internet that doesn't require anyone to have a license to use. We only have to make sure that it's a respectable site. Second tip. Go to a bookstore or Amazon and search for your genre. See what they have, see what's selling, and be inspired of what you see. Step 2. If words are king, art is the queen. This is maybe the hardest part, because I don't skimp out in creating my book cover art. My body, heart and soul enjoy this part. From step 1, 
I'd print it out and start going to town. Just like before, these would have also been in a thumbnail size, so that even from afar, it can demand attention. I draw on them, experiment with the composition of the art, until one of the compositions feels right to me. That was what I did before. Here comes my third tip, and it hurts me in saying this, but I need to, for us and the authors to have a little of a fighting chance. AI art. This is a gray era for me because AI art steals from actual artists who took years in perfecting their skills. I may be a dabbler, but I still consider myself as an artist, so I'm only using AI art for reference because they can have some good compositions. They are not perfect, but they are close. You can use the art produced by AI art, but please modify it, or better yet, only reference it. Laws might be created in the following years in regards of its commercial use uh, if you don't want to get sued. Give the art to an AR art or art savvy friend and fix all the glitches, the artifacts, uh, the just bad rendering of the AI art. Fourth tip, you're not an artist, not an author, not a creative in this step. You're a business person first and should separate all the fancy ideas you think would work in your book cover to the trash and then you burn that trash. A book cover should have limited elements. Because if you just vomit all of your wanted scenes in that small space, it will be busy and you might lose a sale. This is a warning because I love you. In this case study, I'll be using an AI art for my composition reference. Step 3. Opinion matters. Find someone that reads a lot in your genre. A target audience. Someone you know that will spend $50 worth of books because it's a Friday night. They may say they don't judge a book by its cover, but then again, people lie. Ask them how did they feel when they see your cover. Ask them to be honest. If you know they can't be honest, there's the internet. But the internet is a place of beauty and horridness as well. Be prepared to have a thick skin because sometimes they will demolish what you've done. But other times they will give you some constructive criticism to achieve your goal. And still, if your book cover didn't pass, throw it in the trash and burn it. Step 4. Let's do art. Now, we've chosen the AI art image. Let's party.
Book covers, your book cover. If you're planning to go to the traditional route, the one where you'll have a literary agent, a team of editors, a marketer, and a publisher, then you don't need to listen to this part of the video. But if you're planning to go to the indie route, then one of the main components is having a good book cover. Honestly, there are plenty of pre-made covers that you can purchase out there in the web. Some of them as cheap as 20 bucks, some as pricey as $250 or more, and they can be very, very good, like insanely good. But remember, these are pre-mades. It's an incredible option if you're just in the beginning of your writing career or first time author. But also, people buy them a lot. That means you will have the same cover along with other books out there. That's the only con in buying these pre-mades. And the other is that if you buy it very cheaply, it looks cheap too. Creating the cover from scratch, as you can see, is a lot of work. Especially if your genres are sci-fi and fantasy. You need a unique cover art that is tailor-made for your book. Something that shouts and demands attention. Like I said in the video, not to mention something that tells the reader that your book looks like a quality find, like when they see it, they're going to do a chef's kiss or something. If you have a thriller book, you can get away with bold and simple typeface. Probably and most likely do it in italic. If your sci-fi or fantasy book has a thriller element to it, you still can get away with minimal illustration in the cover, as long as a thriller element is the main soul of your book. Thing is, you should really research your genre before you even start your cover. Drama, romance, YA, nonfiction, all of these have their own schools of thought regarding their cover creation. I digress. What I'm saying is, writing a book is half of the story. You need it to be read. That's why we write it in the first place. A book cover is the first thing the reader will see. So, us in the authors should really put a lot of thought, a lot of market research, a lot of trial and error in all of our covers to give us a fighting chance of a sale. But when we, and I mean I, but when I have an ample disposable income to pay an actual artist to do my covers, $2,000, then I will pay her. But I don't. So, 